Hello, welcome to PHP Tutorial. So, hope you are enjoying the arrays and uh, we are going to do more on arrays today. And if you are already sick of arrays, well, move on to the next thing or but always think arrays is something you have to get used to, you have to feel comfortable and I think once you get over the initial hump, I think it's, it's going to be very easy. When I learned PHP or other languages, I mean I always had this uncomfortable feeling about arrays. I really never felt comfortable almost into five years of programming. Uh, but then I had my light enlightening moment and one day and then after that and everything was happily ever after when it comes to arrays. So anyway, let me get started. So arrays. So now we discussed about numeric arrays, associative arrays, and today we're going to do, discuss about multidimensional arrays. So what are multidimensional? Well, as the name suggests, you can do multiple levels or you know hierarchy. So here, what do we have here? This is us. There's there's hardly any hierarchy, this, or you can say this is like a one level hierarchy. So now let's think if we have to store, uh, you know, an array the different not only the prices of cars but also the you know the maybe the location, the type, if it's sedan or if it's you know two door types, and all these things, right? And for that we need multi-dimensional array. So let's start. So let's say again, for all the car lovers out there, I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to define a big cars multi-dimensional array. So we say cars array, and then we put our famous bracket, and then we close it and then we start with our name let's say we say Honda and then we're going to do so let's watch the syntax so this is the way the syntax is going to look like So let me first write and then I'll explain you. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. So here we have our cars array and then looks like this is kind of an associative array because we have Honda. Now to sh here is the multidimensional kick in. So for to store Honda's, you know, all the details, we define another array and then here we're going to store. So now we're going to store the first element, let's say maybe price. So let's we can we give we give a very less price of Honda, which is just hundred dollars. Then we store maybe the color. So let's say we have a white Honda, and then we store who owns it. Maybe David owns it. Fair enough. Okay, so let's go to the Toyota. So Toyota, we make it a little bit more pricey. We say hundred forty, which I know it's going to be unaffordable. For a few people, but you know, hopefully one day, if you don't have Honda and if your dreams of uh, Honda or whatever, you sh hope all your dreams one day come true. And hopefully, you know, part of learning PHP is, uh, you know, somewhere it connects with your dreams of what you want to achieve in the life. So anyway, coming back to the cars multi-dimensional array, let's say it's black color. And let's say this goes to John. So this is our multidimensional array. Now, as you see, I am doing a comma, right? Because I am adding different elements. So I think you know two elements are fine. Let's try to print now. So car Honda price equals to the way you do is the cars, and then you do Honda, and you do. Zero. So what these would do is that it will get cars. It will get Honda because this is kind of next level is associative, and then it will get. It, here it gets into again you know numeric array. So we have to as get the values using zero. So this is zero one two. So let's say put another one. So let's say car. So let's say car. Toyota price equal to Toyota and let's say let's print color. Okay, so let's 
So and let's put a little HTML tag. So let's see if it prints anything. Let's go back here. Okay, so we have Honda price as 100. And we have Toyota colors black. Worked great. So hopefully, okay, so now we are hopefully you're liking it. So let's say we want to print the. Now let me tell you some useful functions with arrays. Now you know. So let's say I want to print the entire array, right? I don't need the single elements. So let's give them. And the useful function is print underscore r. And then we pass the variable okay so now let's see if it prints anything okay as you see here it has print the entire array now it kind of looks a little bit um, you know not good in HTML but if you do view source as you see the array really comes very nicely now why is it uh, you know why, why why do you do that so this is because let's say you know, you're writing a big program and you're building arrays, uh, you're pushing elements to the arrays and you're appending and all this thing, then sometimes you want to print your array and then if you print it in command line, um, uh, meaning if you run your command from using each command line, then it will get it will come in a screen as a nice format. Uh, if you're doing it in a web page, you might want to do view source to sort of make sure that you, know, you have your you have your format correct. Okay, so let's get back, get, get back to our code. So now we have done multi-dimensional array, we have done associative array. So these are pretty much, you know, all the array stuff you have to know about PHP. Now, what's next? So the key thing of arrays is not really defining array, but really how to handle the arrays using different functions. So we're going to talk about now what are the important functions. Now, there are lots and lots of functions, and you should you know Google it. Or there are lots of PHP, you know, PHP.net has excellent resources. But let me just walk you through some useful functions which I I, I keep doing again and again. So so I'm going to introduce you to three main different functions. One is called in array. So in array allows you to uh, match or see the existence of a particular element in a, uh, in an array. So for example, we have a cars here, and we want to check if BMW exists in cars. So you say in array and the value and then the array. So then, if it matches, then you say exit. Uh, you know, you check for the existence. This is the way you do it. The second one is called k sort. Now k sort sorts an array by keys. The key thing to remember is keys. So that means you have to have an associative array. So let's let's just you know before going further, let me show you first how this works. So in array, so let's refresh it, and let's say it prints BMW exists. Now ignore these values for the time being. I'm going to explain to you, but BMW exists. So now if you do BMW one. So we should getting this row match not, or let's say BMW not there. So let's see if that comes, or BMW 1 not there. So BMW not there. Uh, okay, so I think it's BMW 1, BMW 1 not there. So you got that in array, right? So now the next one is K sort. Now K sort arrays by keys, as I was saying you. So we have cars. The cars is a numeric array. It doesn't have, well, it has keys, 0, 1, and 2. But then these are already sorted. But whereas car, car price, which is an associative array, which has Honda, Toyota, and Ford, you will see that if uh, we do that, then it will sort this array based on uh, this Honda, Toyota, this brand name. So let's, let's run it. Um, so here, as you see, here array 0, 1, 2 is our first one, which, you know, it really didn't do much a difference because the, this is a numeric array and the, the, the elements are already sorted by 0, 1, and 2. But whereas in associative array, it's sorted based on the keys. So it says Ford, F, G, H, Honda, and then thus is Toyota. 
So that's sort of I hope you get the difference uh, of you know of how this case sort works. Um, case sort also allows optional parameters, and you know you can check on that in the internet. The other very important function is called something called for each, which basically allows you to loop through the array. So here we you know for each has two different versions. So one is a very simple version, which is you do for each, and then you put the array and um, put the array name, and then you say um, value so it will it will loop through the array and basically take the elements and then uh, you know multiply it by 2 so if you do that then it's, it's a car price so what it is doing a car price is Honda Toyota and Ford so it's looping through the um, looping through the array and then basically store, you know printing out each of the values now if you see right we don't have we are not saying you know the value for what uh, you know this value for what car so that if you want to print that there is another version of for each which basically is a key value pair you know what we are saying is that I mean, let's listen carefully this is our array what we are saying is that as car brand so basically car brand will have the keys of an array keys of an array meaning this one so the these are keys or indexes of an array and these are the values uh, so the value would be stored here. So that's what it is coming here. So make equal to four. So it is storing the. You can say it, you know, the ID or the, the label or basically it's a key value. So the way we say in programming world is that we say key value pair. So it's this one is keep storing the key and this is storing the value and this is sort of the syntax. So anywhere, anytime you know you want to go through an look through an associative array and you want to have a control on the keys, then you have to do for each uh, with a key value pair. If you don't care about the keys, you just do just regular for each. So those are the useful uh, functions, and there are a lot, lot more functions on arrays. Uh, so check in PHPNet or whichever is your favorite PHP website. But I hope uh, you got a good overview of the arrays, and I hope you are now you know you love arrays. Thank you and hope to see you again in our next PHP tutorial. Bye.